Welcome to episode 21 of the Crochet with K podcast. I post on Mondays and talk about all things yarn, knit, crochet, and more. My name is Kahila or K. You can find me on Instagram at K-A-H-I-L-A-H-H-H for any channel updates, yarn updates, and more. Now, let's get into it. I'm so excited, you guys. Oh my gosh, feels like I haven't filmed a podcast in so long. But I am liking the posting of podcasts every other week, so I'm going to stick with that schedule instead of every single week because, like I've said before, I can accumulate a lot of yarn, I can just get more done with my projects, and I just think it's better overall. So let's start off with some updates as usual. So as you guys probably know by now I started a channel with my sisters we have one video up so far we don't have a schedule like for when we want to post videos so it'll just be better to turn on a notification bell turn on a notification bell to turn on our notifications by clicking the bell so that you'll be notified whenever we post a video we do have another video planned though we just have to get to filming it so yeah, very exciting. Very exciting. And the link for the channel will be down below. It is called The Copy Dolls Show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so exciting. And yeah, I think that's it for the channel. Oh, okay. Next, December. When I tell you guys I'm so excited for December, like I'm just... I've been planning all month for December. In this video, I'm going to be doing some planning. But I have been like just doing planning light planning before my big planning which I'll be doing like I said but oh my gosh I have so many projects that I'm going to be working on I am going to be posting so many videos and it's just it's, it's going to be lots of content so I'll talk about everything in like just a second when I start actual planning for December last update you guys I, well I, I not not just I, but my sisters and I, we have lots and lots of yarn that we need to de-stash. Okay, so we like to get more yarn than what we need for projects because we don't like playing yarn chicken. I know a lot of people that are fine with playing yarn chicken. Not me. <clears throat> not me, okay? I would rather have too much yarn than not enough because I can't stand waiting for yarn to come and then I get a lot of my yarn from overseas and it will take like a, a week and a half, a week the earliest to get here and I'm not waiting a week to finish a project because I usually have lots of projects lined up like I never run out of ideas for projects so that will like delay me by so much and I just don't have time for that so I'd rather over buy than under buy and we usually have my sisters do the same thing so we usually have lots of yarn left over lots sometimes not lots but sometimes lots <laughs> and we usually don't care to reuse the yarn because we already have more yarn assigned to another project and if we plan to do a scrap project we probably won't get to it because we have so many projects already lined up. So we are going to be doing a little de-stashing soon. This is coming up on Monday. Okay, so you guys have time to prepare because we are going to de-stash on our website, copydolls.com, and it's going to be lots of yarn. Okay, I don't know. Can you guys see? We have a de-stashing yarn bucket that we put all of our yarn in, and the bucket is overflowing. It's right there. It's like deeper, but it's not showing the entire bucket, but it's right there overflowing. And then I still have more yarn that I need to add to that, and it's just... Yeah, it's going to be a lot and we don't like to just keep yarn here if we're not going to use it and we know there are lots of other people who will appreciate the yarn and be able to use it for their projects so we are de-stashing and it's going to be for now, okay, things can change after this video but for now we are going to have all of the yarn up on our website on the 27th of this month which is a Saturday which is Small Business Saturday. 
I believe that's what it's called. It's usually the last Saturday of the month and dedicated to small businesses after Black Friday, where people like promote small businesses, buy from small businesses. So yeah, we thought that would be a great day to do our de-stashing. So the 27th, mark your calendars. You guys have a little time to prepare. But yeah, it's gonna be, we're just gonna put the yarn up on our website for really, really cheap because we just want to get rid of it. That's it. Because <laughs> we, we literally don't even have space for it. So yeah, okay. Let's get into the first segment, which is planning for December. As you guys know, I usually dedicate my last podcast episodes of the month to planning. And planning is what I'm about to do. I don't... I. Literally, like I said before, I know everything that I'm going to do for the month of December, but I just need to structure it. And yeah, so let's get to it. I have my iPad as usual right here. Got to dust it off, okay? I usually, <clears throat> I usually use my iPad to follow knit patterns, but I haven't, I haven't done any knit project all month I haven't done any knitting I miss knitting I've just been crocheting all month so I haven't really had any use for my iPad all right let's go to my notes Ooh, okay so let me explain how December is going to go I bought an advent calendar from an indie dyer and there are 25 mini skeins in this advent calendar and it's like a nice color story I don't know what the colors are I think that's the purpose of an advent you don't know what is in it you know you don't know what you're getting yourself into and I usually don't like surprises but with the yarn I'm fine because I like any color yarn I like any any color yarn like I, I have no problem with it so I'm very excited to see the color story for it and it's gonna be like a fade I think some type of fade not sure but I'm just so excited to open it up and because I have an advent calendar and that's gonna give me some content to base my vlogs around I decided to post every single day on YouTube post a video every single day on YouTube for 25 days straight so December 1st you'll get a video December 2nd 3rd 4th 5th until the 25th you'll get a video every single day you know if I'm able to and nothing else happens that disrupts my process but so far I plan to upload a video every single day for 25 days straight and I'm very excited for that because I haven't posted, I haven't done like, it's going to be Vlogmas. There we go. I was like, what is it called? I'm going to do Vlogmas. I haven't done Vlogmas. <laughs> I can't speak. I haven't done Vlogmas before. And that's going to be exciting. I've, on, I have a writing channel where I post writing related content, but I've done like, I filmed 31 days, posted 31 videos in a month before. I've done that, but I haven't done Vlogmas. So I'm very excited that I actually have something to show you guys in each video for Vlogmas. And I'm going to keep the videos under 10 minutes. So it will be 10 minutes and below. I will strive for 10 minutes because I like 10 minutes. It's perfect. And yeah, 10 minutes so you guys can easily catch up on the videos if you end up missing it. And just so it you can easily watch a 10 minute video and then be able to watch the next one the next day instead of like 30 minutes and you're only able to watch like 10 minutes of the 30 minute video and then there's another 30 minute video that comes out the next day, you know, and then you get behind. No, I want you guys to be able to stay with me as I show you guys each mini skein from the advent calendar. And in each vlog, I'm going to just work on whatever project I'm working on. It's, it's just going to be a vlog. That's it. The main the main purpose of the vlog will to be will to be will be to show you guys the mini skein and I will show you guys the mini skein at the end of every video and then I will I'll let you guys know in the first video everything that I plan to do with the vlogs as well so you don't have to try to remember this. But I will be at the end of each vlog I will show you guys the mini skein and then I will also like on December 2nd. I will show you December 1st mini skein and December 2nd mini skein so that you can see 
the color story as the days go on. So on the 25th, I'll show you days one through 25 and you can see everything. I feel like that'll be really great. Yeah, it's gonna be so much fun. So with that being said, okay, these videos, these vlogs will be Vlogmas. So every single day until December 5th, what? Until December 25th. December 25th. Okay, so it'll be it'll be titled something like Vlogmas 2021 Day 1 and then colon and then whatever title I want to put for that. <clears throat> the first video will be I bought an advent calendar slash opening a mini Hank. Yeah. Alright, so that will be like that's that's kind of what the title will be like for these videos. Now, I need to figure out what projects I'll be working on. I mean, I don't need to figure out. I just need to... This... This isn't... Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Okay. Yeah? Are you done filming? No, I'm filming. Oh, sorry. Can I get your needles? Because one of mine is like spoon to <clears throat> Which ones? The net pick, net picks one. So. <laughs> okay, interruption. Anyway, so I just need to figure out, I know I have a list of the projects that I want to work on for the month. I need, I just need to figure out what I'm gonna start the month off, what I'm gonna start the month off with. Like, I'm not sure what project I'm gonna work on first. So let me just tell you guys what projects I have in mind for what I wanna do in December. <clears throat> so, I am going to be working on the anchor sweater later this month. I haven't even started it yet, oh my gosh. Because I've been crocheting, like I said, but that's gonna be one of the projects that I'm still gonna be working on in December because I'm definitely not gonna be able to finish it by the end of the month. I'm already working on another crochet project that I need to finish before before I start this knit sweater. So the anchor sweater by Petite Knit, that is the project. That is the first project I'm probably gonna be working on in December because like I said, I'm gonna start on it at the end of this month and it's gonna bleed into December. So yeah, that'll be the project that I'll be working on. I'll have time to finish it. Hopefully I can finish it sometime early December because I also want to work on the Sunday sweater for the month. The Sunday Sweater by Petite Knit. That is what I planned to work on like months ago. So, and I really, really want to start on that. Like it is so beautiful and what yarn am I using with that actually? I have no idea. Do I? Do I know? I feel like I know what sweat, what sweater, what yarn I'm using with it, but I don't remember. Huh. Anyway, so the Sunday sweater, that's going to be like the second project. And this is like tentative. Something might pop up and I might start working on something else. I don't know. So the anchor sweater by Petite Knit, the Sunday sweater by Petite Knit. I still have this seed, sw seed, switch, seed stitch sweater that I haven't touched. <laughs> it still looks the same. I'm still on like a couple of rows into the panel. That's going to be a long-term project. I might pick that up just to work on some straight needles for a little bit. I don't know. And then I have my chunky crochet sweater that I need to work on. So I might start on that probably in the middle of the month, end of the month as well. Probably in the middle of the month, get a good bit done so that I can have it done for January. You know, when winter really hits, January, February, I don't know. We shall see. It depends on how I'm feeling. I have another sweater that I'm going to be working on. Is that? What? 
Okay, yeah, I'm probably, yeah, okay. So, hold on. Okay, so I have some fingering weight yarn that I want to use. I didn't know what sweater I wanted to make though, but then yesterday I decided I'm gonna make the novice sweater mohair edition, but just use the fingering weight yarn because, you know, two strands of lace will equal a fingering. So instead of, well, one of my cats, she's licking herself, so I was just like, what is that noise? Anyway, so yeah, instead of using two strands of mohair, I can use a fingering weight yarn and I'll do that sweater. And since I already made one successfully and yeah, I feel like this one will be great. So I will start on that one probably at the end of the month. It's not a priority. My priority sweaters or projects will be the anchor sweater, the Sunday sweater, and then the chunky crochet sweater because I'm creating a pattern for that one. And I haven't created a chunky sweater, crochet sweater, so. Yeah, all right, so to recap, I'm starting with the anchor sweater. I'm gonna follow that up with the Sunday sweater. And then while I'm working on a Sunday sweater, I'll work on a crochet sweater as well, the chunky crochet sweater. And then at the end of the month, I'm gonna work on the novice sweater mohair edition, even if I'm not done with my other sweaters. So I at least need to finish the anchor sweater in December, which I most likely will. And yeah, so those are the projects for December. Yeah, okay, that was great. I thought I had more projects. I, it felt like I had so many more projects, but that's okay, I do not. I mean, that's still a lot of projects to try and finish, but I'm good. All right, so I don't think, do I have, do I have to do anything else? No, that's it for planning for December. I just needed to figure out the projects that I'm gonna work on in order. I did that, I have my titles that I'm gonna be using, and oh, actually, <laughs> December does not end on the 25th, so what am I gonna do for the rest of the month? Hold on, I need a calendar. Let me put it up on my laptop. Calendar, calendar. Oh, found it, okay. Oops. All right, so let's go to December. Let's pull up a big month. Okay, there we go. December, all right, December 25th is a Saturday. That's gonna be the last video. Do I want a little break from uploading? Probably, I'll probably take, oh wait, oh my gosh, what, that's, that's gonna be it for December. Okay, December, oh, you know what? Perfect, okay, so I have this one video, I, ha I have this one video I have, I have this one video idea that I came up with a couple of months ago now, and it's gonna be like 2021 crochet slash knit creations wrap up, and I have a bunch of folders with like, I think all of the videos I've, uploaded on my channel and I wanted to do like a little montage random wrap up basically. So all of the projects that I've ever worked on in 2021 that I filmed, I will put all of those clips together and just have like a nice little story and just upload it for you guys so you guys can see everything that I made for the year. And yeah, so I will post that December 31st. So I can work on that after the 25th, put everything together and have it ready for the 31st, which will be so much fun. It, it will be out of order and stuff like that. It's not gonna be in order from like, oh, my first project of the year, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I haven't really thought about it, but I know it's probably not gonna be in order and I just want like different, just, I don't know. I'll figure it out, but that can be December 31st. So. After the 25th, the next video will be the 31st. Boom. All right. I don't know why I thought they were... I don't know. Okay, who cares? Anyway, that's it for planning. I am done. Just needed to get all of that organized. Perfect. All right, now moving on to 
whips and oh my gosh I forgot I knew I forgot something oh my gosh hold on guys let me call my sister yes thanks mm -hmm. all right guys so whips I this this is the first project that I finished for the month and I forgot to bring it here so my sister kindly this time an interruption that I asked for anyway so this is the first sweater that I made for the month Ooh, mohair it's nice and fuzzy and crappy and I used Sorella's fingering weight I don't remember the I don't remember if it's 100% merino or like half merino half nylon either way I used Sorella's hand dyed yarn and I paired it with knitting for olive mohair and it came out this beautiful and it's brown of course it came out looking beautifully brown oh so nice so awesome I gave it to Malika because she loves crop tops and I don't care oh, I don't care for crop tops but I make them and sometimes wear them just because in the summer and yeah I just I made that and then gave it to Malika so she can have it and wear it because she loves crop tops Anyway, that's the first sweater I made. It took me, oh my gosh, it took me so long to make that sweater because fingering weight yarn, oh my gosh, crocheting with fingering weight yarn takes forever. And I don't think I will crochet with fingering weight yarn again, or at least for a very, very long time because I am just tired of crocheting. With, I've only done two projects with fingering weight yarn and that's enough for me to realize I don't care to crochet with fingering weight yarn. It just it takes forever. And I don't like that. Like, I just, like, oh wait, I haven't even made it to this project yet. Okay, well, let's move on to the next project that I finished for the month. I've only finished two projects for the month. That one and this one that I'm wearing right now. Look at the sleeve. woo -hoo! And then let me show you the ribbing so the ribbing for my panels it's half double crochet instead of like the single crochet that I usually do and then I decided not to do like the traditional ribbing for this because I wanted it to be like a nice wide sleeve I didn't even do any decreasing on the sleeve or anything this is what it looks like there we go or anything it comes up to like right here on me which is perfect and I did like five rows of single crochet to have like a little border and then the rest of this is double crochet you guys I haven't worked with double crochet this stitch in so long oh and then this collar part is half double crochet so I have a lot of stitches going on here I just I love this sweater so much the pattern should be out by now I'll link that down below if you guys want to create your own it's measurement based so any everyone can make this everyone of all sizes can make this and yeah so this oh this sweater is half double crochet the brown one that I showed you guys and this is double crochet I crochet tight bro like look at this like usually with double crochet you can see through it but it's like with this one it's so tight because I crochet super tight tightly I don't care anyway so yeah this is a very successful sweater this is gonna have to be my favorite sweater now favorite project this one. Oh, it was also my first time working with tweed yarn so I used the yarn tweed delight from Hobie and it's like wool, acrylic, viscose, I think that's it. And it's just oh, beautiful. I love it so much. I It's so warm. Oh my gosh. It's so, I just, oh, I love creating sweaters, you guys. I just wanted to create something different, like create a different type of sweater than I've created before, especially since I was writing a pattern for it and 
<laughs> it was just very successful and I'm just so happy with how it came out, so. If you guys want to see a video on it, I do have a video on it. It's the video that came out yesterday. <laughs> and yeah, that's it for this. So two projects done this month. That's, wait, oh my gosh, I have another project. Okay, I have another whip. It's not finished, but it is another whip that I'm working on that I will probably be done with in like, probably today. Okay, so it is... This right here, what is this, you ask? Well, I am creating a scarf, okay? I have not created a scarf before. And I'm using Chunky Yarn from Hobie. It is, it's called Wool Power Big and it is 100% pure wool, chunky, chunky. And I was like, you know what? I haven't created a scarf before, so let me do that because why not? So yeah, this is a little design I'm going with. I'm gonna write a pattern for it and it's been fun. I started this last night, like right before I went to bed and then I got the ribbing done last night. Then I got all of this done this morning. <clears throat> why did my voice do that? this morning so yeah after i edit this video and stuff and schedule it i'm going to work on this scarf all day and then when i'm done with this scarf i will finally be able to start on my anchor sweater i miss knitting so much i've been crocheting so much so much this month and i'm just <laughs> missing i miss knitting okay <clears throat> it's gonna be good though because next month is gonna be like all about knitting which i'm so excited for so it's good that i got this little crochet binge in. Now that's gonna be it for all of my projects for the month. I still have that seed stitch one, but I haven't gotten any progress in it, so I'm not gonna show it because it would be pointless. Anyway, let's move on to the best part of every podcast episode, the yarn haul. As you guys know, I love yarn. I'm always buying yarn and I will not stop buying yarn. I don't care how big my stash gets. That's just it. I love yarn. So let's move on and talk about the first yarn. And it is... This yarn right here from Knitting for Olive. I just got three of them to show you guys, but I do have like 20 balls of this yarn. It is the Double Soft Merino, Merino. <laughs> Double Soft Merino from Knitting for Olive. This is the one yarn. I mean, I have. there's a bunch of Knitting for Olive yarn that I haven't used, like the cashmere and a silk, I'm pretty sure. Mm, okay, I need to use those. Anyway, but I got this yarn. I got 20 balls of this yarn because Knitting for Olive is going to discontinue this. I don't know if they publicly, like, I don't know if they said it on their website or anything, but they said it on their Instagram stories because someone asked about it. And I was like, Excuse me, I literally just happened to scroll through their story and I saw it and I was just like, but that's the that's the one yarn that I wanted to like try out. I'm like, oh my gosh, so I got 20 balls just in case. Like before I get another color, they decide to discontinue it and I'm just like, I need to know what it's like to use this. So I got this beautiful gray color and oh my gosh, double soft merino. This is so soft, so freaking soft and I just love can you see that I love the way it is it's like blown merino and it's it's crazy so it's a hundred percent merino blown yarn it's 110 meters 50 grams and so beautiful what am I making with this oh I'm gonna be making that's crazy knitting for olives it's not a sweatshirt sweater with it I'm pretty sure that's what it's called yeah I'm gonna be using this pretty sure I'm pretty sure this is the yarn I'm using with it yeah anyway it's so soft I'm gonna be using it alone I'm not pairing it with any mohair or anything because I want to feel how soft this is in sweater form and Knitting for Olive said they're discontinuing it because of the way like the yarn is when it People have apparently complained about how like it splits too much and yada, yada, yada. I don't care about splitting yarn. 
I use anything. So I'm very excited to use this yarn. Oh, like, dude, it is so soft. If you're able to get your hands on this, I suggest getting your hands on it. And of course, I will have an entire video dedicated to working with this yarn and whatever project I'm creating with it. So I'm very excited for that. Alrighty. Next on this yarn haul, we have hand-eyed yarn, of course. Look at this beauty. So this is DK weight yarn and it these were one of a kinds on Red Door Fiber Studios website. And I was just like, oh, those colors are beautiful. I don't know what I'm going to do with DK weight yarn, but let me get as many skeins as possible or as many hanks as possible. And there are three left. So I got the three and my sisters and I were going to be making hats with this yarn. So three of us, three yarns. So one for each of us and we're just going to make a hat. Hopefully it's enough. It is 100% superwash merino, 246 yards, 100 grams. Pretty sure it'll be enough to make a hat, right? Make a beanie. We're going to be making a beanie with it. So yeah, I'm very excited. Look at these colors. Oh, it's called It's Not a Phase. It's so beautiful. And next on this list we have... Give me a second. We have this, ooh, hold on. Thumbnail, okay. We have this yarn by Teeny Button. Oh my gosh, you guys know I love Teeny Button, Red Door Fiber Studio, Sorella, and Explorer Knits. Those are the top four dyers that I get, was that for? Teeny Button, okay, my cat wants to leave the room hold on please just hold on teeny button red door fiber studio exploring it's sorella yeah four okay now let me i'll let her out in just a second okay let me talk about this real quick <laughs> so i got this yarn from teeny button and it is her like christmas what is it called christmas tree farm and i was just like oh my gosh i have to get this like it looks weird but caked up, this thing is going to be beautiful. Like, look at the different colors in here. Like, this green sold me, okay? And then, like, it has pinks in it and different color greens and white. And, oh, my gosh, it's just, it's just so funky. And I love funky, so I had to get it, okay? Beautiful. It's fingering weight, 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon, 463 yards, 100 grams. And dude, this caked up. <laughs> it's going to be so good. Okay, it's going to be so good. All right, now give me a second. All right, I'm back. Okay. Next, we have yarn from Sorella. Look at that. Got yarn from three out of the four. Oh my gosh, Explore, let me stop, okay. And no, okay, Explore Knits, she's having like an in-stock update with like <clears throat> over 60 colorways on her shop during Small Business Saturday on the 27th. Yeah, we are in there, okay, <laughs> we're in there, okay. Anyway. This yarn right here from Sorella. This is be a beautiful red color. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? This is so beautiful. It looks even better on camera. Oh my gosh. Like, this is so beautiful. And I was just like, I need more colors like this, okay? Like my hand-eyed yarn collection is filled with greens, blues, gray, some grays. Okay, but mostly, mostly blues. What I don't know what what's up with me and blue yarn, but apparently I'm very attracted to blue yarn, like blue and green yarn. Like, I didn't even realize it until I saw my stash and it's filled with blue and green, which is so crazy. So I need more yarn like this, more colors, okay? It's beautiful. So it is 100% superwash merino wool, 438 yards, 100 grams, and so beautiful. Okay, and I have more yarn from Sorella. I have two different colors. Okay. All 
right, so I have this beautiful green right here. Oh my gosh, this looks like a Christmas tree. I know, I'm obsessed with greens and blues, but I had to get this. Like, I saw this on a website and I was just like, excuse me, how dare you look that good? I need you, thank you. So I got it. And as you know, I'm more of a variegated person, but you know, tonals are great as well. Tonals, it's a close second. Okay, but variegated, I love me some variegated yarns. But I was just like, I need more tonals in my hand dyed yarn collection. So here we are with tonals. And these are so beautiful. I cannot wait to get to this. Oh my gosh. Uh, and last in this hand dyed yarn or yarn haul in general, we have this beautiful, beautiful icy blue. I mean, I call it icy blue because it looks icy blue, okay? Look at this. This is perfect winter blue. Oh my gosh. I think I am making the It's Not a Sweatshirt sweater from Knitting for Olive in this yarn as well. And I was just like, I need, I can't, like, I have to get, like, <laughs> I can't even speak. So I usually pair my fingering weight yarn with mohair. And I was just like, I I need to get mohair that's like close, as close to this color as possible. I was like, you know what? I can't, I can't disrupt this beauty. Okay, so I went back on Sorella's website and I got this Siri alpaca in this color. So that should be coming. You guys will see that in the next, oh my gosh, when is my next podcast episode? I don't know if I will have another episode until January. Wow. Okay. So, well, you guys will eventually see this yarn in the Surrey alpaca version, probably in one of my December vlogs, because I really don't think I'll have another podcast episode until January, because... I'm going to be posting vlogs every day of the month until the 25th in December. And then my next video will be the 31st. So yeah. Wow. Okay. Well, you guys will see it at some point. Anyway, that is all of the yarn that I have accumulated over the past two weeks. And that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for relaxing and chilling with me. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell because it will notify you whenever I post another video. And I'll see you guys in my next episode, whenever that is.